just the tip, just for a second, just to see how it goes. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the first of our new series, Just the Tip. Some of my other videos I know get pretty lengthy, and we're going to try to do a series of weekly released videos where we just give some simple little tip. We don't even go into huge drawn out philosophical discussions or everything. They're just going to be like maybe three to five minute videos or something and this is the first one. So some of these are going to be skills. This one is about some mental stuff. So one of the things that I really find that it, it helps to know going into some of these challenging horsemanship skills that we're learning and all is that there is a distinct pattern that you will go through learning any new set of skills and these are called the four stages of competency now this doesn't matter what kind of skill it is it could be learning how to bowl uh, fishing juggling uh, woodworking horsemanship surgery doesn't really matter what the skill is it's a skill and you're going to go through it through these steps to get better with that skill so the first of them is called unconscious incompetence. Now this step can last indefinitely. I'm going to die not knowing how hard it is to fuse atoms together, right? And you probably are too. But anytime you try a skill, you actually get involved and try it, you go through this stage very, very quickly. So unconscious incompetence basically means you are unaware at how incompetent you are. You don't know how bad you suck until you actually try the skill out. So if we use juggling, for instance, you would probably have no idea how hard it is to juggle until someone gives you three balls and you actually try. And you realize real quick you didn't catch the first one. This is a whole lot harder than that guy made it look. Okay. Now, immediately upon realizing that, you go to step two, which is called conscious incompetence. So now you know you suck. This is the stage where frustration occurs. And it's really important that you understand about this because as you're training a horse, you're, you're the leader, you're giving him guidance, he's gonna go through this step as well. Uh, and again, he's gonna have a tendency to get frustrated here just as you are. So I find if you know this ahead of time, it really helps you to not get emotional. It helps you to stay a little more cerebral, a little more reasonable about your expectations and so forth. So this is where a lot of the hard work occurs. Now, via luck or, or just hard work or whatever, you're gonna slowly start to climb out of this stage and things are gonna start to work out for you a little bit. You'll, you'll get a few cycles of the juggling down or whatever it is, and you arrive at the third stage. <clears throat> this is called conscious competency. This is the one you're gonna stay in for the longest period of time. And basically what it means is you're starting to win. You're starting to have some success, but at this stage it still takes all of your concentration. So there are people that could juggle chainsaws right here while talking to this camera and have no problem doing it. I can't do that. I can juggle just a little, but I certainly couldn't carry on a conversation while trying. I am consciously competent, but it still requires all of my faculties, my focus, my full attention to pull that off. Um, after a long time of doing that, things become second nature. That's when you arrive at the fourth stage, which is mastery. That is unconscious competency. You don't have to pay attention anymore. You can just do it. And a lot of the things that uh, people try when they're working with their horsemanship skills, they simply don't put in the time, the effort, the work to ever get to that stage. It's one of, one of the places where we have a communication barrier uh, when, when a professional is trying to explain something to people. I liken it to uh, trying to explain to someone how to walk. You know, you might say, well, you pick your foot up and put one in front of the other. And there's really a whole lot more to walking if you think about it. You break it down, you're having to shift side to side. You have to balance on this leg and bring this forward. Do you hit heel first or toe first? There's a lot more to walking than you think but you don't think about it. You are unconsciously competent to walk. It's easy, you don't have to think about it. A lot of the skills that we have with horses uh, as a professional are that way too. I don't really have to think about how I do this, I just do it. The difficult part is when you have to back up and break it down and explain that to somebody else. Um, so that, that's kind of from our point of view the way some things go. Anyway. Four stages of competency, that is just the tip for this Tuesday. Thank you much. I hope that helps you out.